What is going on, guys? How you guys doing? It's Uncle Muscles. Check me out, twitch.tv slash Uncle Muscles. Today, we're going to be doing uh, everybody's favorite uh, video in the entire world, how to get infinite acid in once human. So what I did is I moved to uh, bumfuck wherever in once human, and it is really polluted as fuck out here. It sucks. It really sucks being out here. Sometimes it gets glitched out, and sometimes you get too polluted, and you have like 5 HP. But, now, here's the most interesting thing, and we just found this out, or at least Finn just told us this, Finnabar. Shout out to Finn. Uh, if you look at the little number on your backpack, that will tell you how polluted the area is. Apparently, if you're in an area that's 125 or above, um, you will be able to interact with polluted water. Polluted water uh, is any type of water source, um, and it will give you water and it will give you the water it is so like salt water and or dirty water and it'll also give you polluted water out of a water pump i'll show you right now these are my uh water generators which are generating my power supply which seem to help oh and then i have to get on top of this otherwise it's not gonna work okay so water pump right oh, that's not showing anything is it maybe because all my water pumps are working now okay this one shows that's seawater. Uh, any of these have anything good in it? Nope, that's seawater. Well, whatever. Anyway, there's a chance of when you pump these out, it'll also pump out uh, polluted water, and I'll show you right now in my osmosis water purifier. Seawater, seawater, that's impure acid. Uh-oh. Seawater, seawater, impure acid. That's what. That's the goal. Was what we're trying to get is impure acid. But I'd like to show you the. It's not going to show. We're just doing it too fast. Okay. So all the polluted water we're getting, which is this item right here, uh, is just going into the impure acid. Now I actually just emptied out all my impure acid, which is the reason why it's not showing. Sorry about that for demonstration purposes. I just wanted to record this as soon as possible. Um, and plus, I was backed up with a bunch before because I just. We were trying to figure all this stuff out. We were stacking all of it. We were trying to, like, treat each of the different water purifiers. But what you need is a water, osmosis water purifier, which will give you purified water. And if you put in polluted water, which is any water apparently above 125, the highest I've seen is 205 with the little number in the backpack as far as pollution levels. That's, uh, I think, somewhere over... I think it's this area. I think this is where the first out the initial outbreak is. I think some parts of this map are, are 205. I don't know if you can build around here, but there might be an area that's 205. I, I would assume as you get higher up into here in this zone or something like that, there might be even higher radiation. In fact, probably about right here, this is probably incredibly radiated or pr incredibly polluted. That's my guess. Anyway, uh, so... As long as you can get into a very polluted area and you can get a ground water source. I've noticed, and I don't know if this is the case for sure, but the deeper, I think it matters where you put them. The deeper I put them in the water, it seemed to help. I was getting more polluted water. I don't know if that's bro science or whatever. Uh, I have one, two, three, I have eight, right? I have eight different um, uh, water pumps. Being, I don't even think it's enough. I'm being, it's being generated by hydropower, which is more than the solar power. It's nice, but it's not enough. What you need is the water uh, osmosis purifier, which is in the memetics. I'll show you really quickly where it is, because I don't even remember. Uh, let's find out. Crafting. Uh, water purifier. Water purifier. Where is it? Water pumps. Water filters, water pumps. You're going to need brewing barrels. You're going to need... I don't think you need to select automatic irrigation. In fact, I might unselect this if I can. Now, oh, maybe that's the only way to get to level 4. I don't have enough memetics right now to do anything else with planting, so it's not really worth it. But you need osmosis water purifier. That's what's going to give you the uh, option to, um, to make the uh, un filtered acid and then you convert that in the fermenter i'll show you in a second how it works but you can see right here an efficient water treatment device that can effectively deal with impurities dissolve substances and microorganisms giving you clean and safe drinking water besides purifying water could this device have another potential use 
So yeah, so we're going to be making acid out of it. So that's how we're going to make infinite acid. Um, I have the osmosis water purifier. It's taking the seawater, which is also polluted water. You Sometimes you get a chance of getting polluted water, which turns into the impure acid. Now, the problem is that a couple things. One, when you're making your water purifier, I, or when you're, yeah, I guess the acid purifier, water purifier, in, infinite acid mechanism, device, whatever. Uh, this pump, when you pump it into these devices, it seems to need one of these smaller pumps, these one watt pumps. So I've been doing that, but the thing is that when you connect it, I've noticed that the pump needs to be higher than that pump, which is kind of interesting. You would think that making it lower would make sense, and I think in some cases it works, works. but what I've just done to make sure it works is that after I place it, because sometimes the water direction, and you can see when you're in your build menu, if you uh, press R, is it R? Show pipes. No, L. Don't press R. R will remove a pipe if you're aiming at it. Which is, by the way, if you want to remove pipes, just press R. But I'm not going to do that right now. It'll just demolish the pipe. But if you pr if you don't have your pipes up, you can press L, and that'll show you all your pipes and everything. If you notice, the light blue is going from the pipe to the pump, which is what we want. That's the trace of the water. Sometimes the trace doesn't work the right direction, so you have to pick it up and, like, place it. And then all of a sudden, the water will go in the right direction. I'm not sure... It's finicky, it's buggy, it's a beta, whatever, but that seems to work. I have two water pumps per osmosis device. Clearly, it's too much. Or it's not, it's, I don't need this many osmosis devices, so either I'm going to make more water pumps and make less osmosis devices and just get all the pumps going into one area. You can have ten pumps and or wires going from any device to another device, whatever. So it can just be 10 total. Um, so I think I'm going to add more pumps per purifier. I just wanted to see how it was going to work. I thought I was going to get uh, capped out, but oh, see, this one is capped out. Seawater, seawater, polluted water. There we go. This one works. Look at polluted water. Anyway, you can see this one's getting a lot. It's getting a lot of seawater. There's a lot. Oh, this one might be the one I actually dumped all the seawater in in the end. Also, this one may have not had any power hooked up to it for a bit, too. One of them is messed up. I'm not sure what's going on right now. One of them, the power's messed up. Seems to be working okay right now, though, so that's fine. So this one has impure acid. You can see polluted water. The water is going up from the pumps, which I've probably placed a couple times to make sure that they're going the right direction. Goes up to the water purifier. The water purifier then has another pipe going into... the water bucket. And you can just check the water bucket right here. The water bucket has purified water. Right? Tons of it. So that's good. Now the thing is that where'd all that acid go? Well, the acid doesn't actually leave the purifier. So you actually have to manually take those. So I'll just do that right now. And place those in the fermenter. Now this part gets a little funky because one, you have to select the raw material and put it on the bottom. And this has got plenty of water now, so it's not even asking me. So this is great, actually. Before, I kept like swapping back up, but now I have... I've got both of my water tanks connected to one fermenter. Uh... I think what you really want to do is... Oh, I think... Oh, that's what you use aluminum for? Finally! Oh my god, I need more acid. But that's ironic because I'm making it. But the aluminum, you can make more fermenters. So what I'm going to do right now is because I've been trying to get this to ferment four different ones at the same time. So I've just been stacking to a thousand. I'll just split all these stacks to like 21, whatever. I don't know what it is. And then I'll just make like a thousand fermenters. How much do these take? Whatever. So we're going to figure this out. We're going to see how many of these we can get going. But that's the idea, guys. So you just connect it to the fermenter. I'm still learning it, uh, this as I do it, guys. So hopefully it works out for you guys. Uh, let me know if you have any, uh, you know, tips and tidbits you want to help out with also. If you leave them in the comments below, I appreciate it. But, yeah, we're going to make more fermenters. And we're just going to reduce these stacks. And then uh, I guess we still have even this really. It takes a long time. It takes like 20 minutes to get one. So, yeah, so what we're going to do is, 
what what I would like to do is fill them all up, if I can, on each one. But that would mean I'd need a lot of impure acid, and then like remove the stack or withdraw some from each stack. I don't think you can like drag it over. If there's if someone knows a way to like get these to load up without loading the entire stack, I would definitely really love to know that method because that seems to be really important. So that way you can have four coming in at the same time. And that way we can make the most efficient uh, fermenters. But at, at the moment, I haven't figured out a way to treat each pump and make it so it's like all the way full. If you guys figure that out, let me know. Anyway, that's how you do it. That's how you make infinite acid. It's a long process. I, like I said, I think this part takes 20 minutes. The pumps themselves, uh, pump out 24 units per five minutes and then these pumps uh do i think f one unit per one stack per minute so i think you can get four units per minute and then at five minutes that would be 20 units if you're lucky, I don't know. Some of the numbers are off, but it seems like I can over I can saturate these uh, these filters a bit. But this is the general idea. I'm gonna work on it a bit. Hopefully, you guys, you know, give me some feedback as well. I appreciate it. And if you guys have any better better ideas than what I've been working with, I definitely definitely appreciate it. Um, people have been trying to sell acid and stuff in the chat. I think it's ridiculous. I mean, this is a beta. People are going crazy over like resource items and stuff, and everything's pretty uh, abundant. And the PVP is barely even prevalent in this game. So, like I said, we're recruiting. Uh, the worst team ever, or worst team ever in the Warband, or is the Warband, that's the name, worst team ever, check us out, uh, we're on Starstrike A, twitch.tv slash Uncle Muscles, check out my other videos on how to speed level and stuff like that, um, we'll put you in party, and we'll get you leveled up quickly, 300 experience per ticks, um, in four people parties is a lot of experience, and I think what we're gonna try to do is run two parties at the same uh, point and then see if we can even double down more experience by spreading damage You can actually like spam experience pretty hard in this game So if you want to level up pretty quickly, it's not that hard to do you just need active guilds slash warbands Anyway, check us out worst team ever twitch.tv slash uncle muscles. Love you guys. Bye